Alright, uh, I'm Will McCormick and I'm here to talk to Mr. Bannerman about his new learning program. Yeah, why all these computers are back here? Uh, Will and I were just talking about what I'm doing this year, which is differentiated instruction. you have any idea what it is? Uh, I have a little bit. It's teaching kids on different learning levels at the same time, but through a different process. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly that's what we were talking about earlier, like with kindergarten, you know? In kindergarten, everybody comes in, and they're at all these different levels. Well, it's the same way with my class. I mean, you were there last year, you know? Some kids grew up in church, and they know the New Testament front and back. Other kids, they maybe have a different faith. They may not have been in church or whatever. And so they come in, and they don't know anything. It's not that one kid is smarter or another kid isn't as bright. It's just they don't know the material as well. So what I've tried to do by using all of this is to reach each kid like where they are, you know, on their level. Like you remember last year, like some things you could pick up on really quickly, other things you couldn't. But by structuring the class to where one kid can help out another kid, or we can have three different groups doing things on different levels at a time, that way each kid can kind of get to where he needs to be so we can all have a conversation. It's really easy to talk to one another and to the teacher because he's not saying which is right or wrong. He puts in his opinions but not directly at you so you're not judged by what he thinks. This class teaches you more than what you would actually know like such as history you know everything that happened and and here there's just more and more every day because people are discovering so it's a great class to be in it's changing every day uh, the structure of how it's built is really great because you get to talk to different guys every day so it's a uh, very entertaining to be into. There are plenty of ways to differentiate your classroom. The way Mr. Vanneman runs his classroom is splitting his class into three different levels and rotating them through three different activities. However, you could also use the original method taught by the Christian brothers. The teacher will teach the highest level of students, who then teach the second level of students, and they will then teach the lowest level of students. And this will continue until all of the students have been taught. What we do, uh, we'll come in, like say, on Monday, and we'll try to cover a topic. Let's say we're trying to cover um, the figure of Jesus in the Roman Empire. So on Monday, I'll introduce the topic, and we'll do like the kind of boring lecture stuff where you know, everybody's slept in on the weekend, so we're all kind of dragging anyway. So we kind of go through that stuff. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll break it up into groups to where one group might be with me, and if that group is picking up on the material really quickly, we'll fly through whatever it is. Like we might be reading something, or we might be uh, analyzing something that someone said, or we might be looking at a piece of scripture. So we can take 40 or 50 minutes to either fly through it and get really in depth, or just kind of take our time and say, okay, does everybody understand? The other two groups, one group will be on the computers, and the other group would be uh, doing some work on their own. So the other two groups are doing something while I'm working with the group, and then for Wednesday, we'll all swap. So the group I'm talking to will go to the computers and do stuff through Haiku. The group that was doing Haiku will go do stuff on their own. The group that's doing stuff on their own will come to me. And we'll do the same thing uh, and just kind of approach it with whatever each kid uh, needs to understand. So by the time we get to Thursday, every kid's had a chance to talk with me, like in a small group setting, uh, to kind of go through the computers and do some work there uh, and then kind of do some stuff on their own. Friday, we'll kind of step back and say, okay, let's look at how we did. Let's look at what we learned. Let's look at how everybody uh, progressed, and we'll kind of like assess where we are. And we'll come back the next week and do it all over again if we need to, or move on to the next subject. Anyway, I, I think it's it's much better. For me, it works a lot better. And it seems like the kids uh, really enjoy uh, the moving around in the group. So we changed up. And that, that's the thing with a, a school year like we have, where you're in class 100 days or whatever, mm -hmm. you kind of get tired of doing the same thing every day. So changing it up is really, really kind of nice.